Hey YouTubers, uh, we are going to start some movie reviews and what better way to start a holiday season off by reviewing one of the newest holiday movies. Um, this one was directed by Michael Douse. It just came out called 8-Bit Christmas and we're not going to give away a lot of spoilers or anything like that. We're just going to kind of tell you how we felt about the movie. Or at least how I felt, particularly in this one. Um, we all watched it. It was really lighthearted, entertaining. I uh, thought it was pretty funny. There were some good jokes. Um, I think what could make a break a movie like this would be the actors that they picked. And you really can't go wrong. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris, <clears throat> he is uh, pretty much legendary along with Steve Zahn. Um, the main character is Neil Patrick Harris, and he does a great job trying to tell the story to his daughter um, about Christmas in the 80s and, you know, how special the Nintendo was, the Nintendo craze, so to speak. Um, this movie could have been horrible. It could have gone really bad if it didn't have uh, what seemed to be the love and the care put into making it uh, that the makers put into this movie. They did a a good job like I said the cast really stands out that could make or break uh, Steve Zahn plays the role of the 80s dad and he's excellent um, they do a great job you, you know he's constantly using phrases like cry in a bucket you know that's what dad used to say back then you know wants his son to work with his hands and kind of transitioning the generations he does a great job the mother June Diane Raphael she's been in a lot of stuff she's really good um, like I said, Steve's on. Great job as a dad. Mother does a great job. Um, another thing I think they could have made or break this was the kids. Uh, the the main character uh, was played by Winslow Fagley. Uh, he plays the young Jake Doyle, and he does a great job. I think every kid does a great job. They all have little quirks and personality traits. And for the sake of a comedy tone... I think a lot of this stuff is definitely uh, almost over overacted uh, on purpose, and it works. It does it does a really good job getting the point across, but not doing too much. It feels like all the actors were actually into this movie, as opposed to some movies where they're kind of just getting a paycheck. Um, story in the plot is very simple. It's not super compelling. You're not going to sit around and discuss it <clears throat> excuse me discuss it for you know at length it's not a very deep movie but it is fun it was great for the whole family the plot basically is all these kids just want nothing more than a nintendo um for christmas and it's quite an adventure on trying to get one and i'm not gonna spoil it it's a little twisty at the end uh, kind of takes the focus off of the materialistic aspects of the movie and goes more to uh, a heartfelt family sentimental kind of vibe. It does a really good job at the end of that uh, with that and it's it's good. I would give it a good solid 8 or a 9. Uh, there are some inaccuracies of course kind of like the Goldbergs that kind of if you're really an 80s fan would kind of you'd be like no it, you know this came out that year. But that's technical stuff. Um, we're not going to be technically reviewing movies. A lot of people on YouTube do that, and that's cool. Um, I just, it was it entertaining or was it not? Uh, there was a lot of effort put into this one, I feel like. Um, it was really good. There's some good jokes. Um, there's some stuff, you know, like uh, classic. For instance, uh, there's one kid, and he's allergic to SpaghettiOs. And there's... Uh, a scene where he pukes quite a bit and I know puke gags have been done a lot in the movies this one was done very well it had me laughing out loud as many times as I've seen puke gags in movies I think there's a lot of good slapstick uh, I think that they did a good job overall so um I, I highly recommend this is good for the whole family there's not like a bunch of innuendo like the kids can totally watch this from start to finish the adults will laugh the kids will laugh um, again, not the most creative story. It's kind of like a mix of Jingle All the Way kind of vibe, a little bit of Christmas story kind of vibe. I mean, it fits right in. 
it will definitely get rewatched throughout the holidays. Um, I definitely believe we'll be watching this one again. Like I said, the cast does a really good job. Uh, it was a nice little surprise. I wasn't expecting much. But it's definitely a blast for the past for people who are nostalgic for the 80s. They did a great job uh, kind of with us like like Stranger Things did and, and kind of like the Goldbergs. You, you definitely feel like you're in the 80s watching this. Again, hats off to all the kids. They did a great job. Um, we're going to keep this short. I just want to recommend this movie. It's a solid 8 or 9. It's not a perfect movie. Not many are. But this one is really good. I haven't watched any other reviews, so I don't know if other people are liking it or not. But we liked it. We'll watch it again. And hope hopefully you check this review out and it makes you want to watch it. Um, yeah, so that's our first movie review. Uh, if you come across it, give a like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.